how CRAM defense systems shoot down missiles at 4,500 RPM. In this thrilling video, we dive deep into the incredible world of CRAM, or counter-rocket, artillery, and mortar defense systems, and how they operate at an astonishing rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. Discover the cutting-edge technology behind these defense systems and their vital role in safeguarding military bases against incoming threats. We'll break down the mechanics of how CRAMs detect and intercept missiles in real time, showcasing their rapid-fire capabilities and precision targeting. Learn about the various components that make up these advanced systems and see them in action through stunning visuals and expert commentary. Whether you're a military enthusiast, a tech aficionado, or simply curious about modern defense technologies, this video will provide you with a comprehensive overview of how CRAM systems are revolutionizing battlefield protection. Don't miss out on the chance to understand the complexities of missile defense in today's world. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content about defense technology and military innovations. The Counter Rocket, Artillery, and Mortar System, known as C-RAM or Counter RAM, is a set of systems used to detect and destroy incoming rockets, artillery, and mortar projectiles before they reach their ground targets. Manufactured by the well-known aerospace and military company Raytheon, this system is deployed across the Middle East and Southeast Asia, including Iraq and Afghanistan, to protect U.S. bases from incoming attacks. The C-RAM, affectionately nicknamed ART by troops due to its resemblance to the friendly robot R2-D2, is a spectacle when in action. Lightning fast and capable of firing up to 4,500 rounds per minute, the C-RAM is based on technology that, while not new, was first developed in the late 1960s for use by the U.S. Navy as a defense against anti-aircraft missiles. This close-in weapon system, also known as CIWs, is used by many modern navies. While the CIWs and CRAM are similar, there are important differences based on their operational context. One focuses on maritime defense and the other on land-based defense. Both systems fire 20mm projectiles, but the type of projectile fired by the CIWS at sea is more effective at destroying rockets, artillery, and mortars compared to the projectiles used by the CRAM on land. Unlike the CIWs, the CRAM projectile is designed to self-destruct in flight at around 2,000 meters, minimizing any collateral damage. The concept of the CRAM arose from an operational need identified between 2004 and 2005 during multinational operations in Iraq, where Iraqi insurgents launched rockets and mortars against U.S., coalition, and Iraqi forces installations. Traditional methods to neutralize these threats, such as aggressive patrols and ambushes, posed a high risk to soldiers and civilians. Hence, there was a need for an intelligent weapon capable of automatically neutralizing these threats without endangering human lives. The C-RAM consists of multiple components including radar sensors that perform aerial surveillance and detect threats a command and control system that integrates information and makes decisions in conjunction with human intervention and the 20mm M61A1 cannon capable of firing between 3,000 and 4,500 rounds per minute. It also employs an infrared camera to detect threats thermally, allowing it to operate even in low visibility conditions. Although the CRAM is a highly effective system, it is not without limitations. It has a limited range, as its projectiles self-destruct at 2,000 meters. Additionally, the high cost of ammunition and weapon wear limit its use to about five bursts before a reload is necessary. These limitations have led the military to incorporate multiple air defense systems to complement the CRAM's capabilities. Each engagement requires approximately five seconds for the CRAM to reposition and target a new incoming threat from a different direction. Therefore, if enemy forces fire more than five mortar rounds at a zone protected by a single C-RAM, some of the projectiles are likely to hit their targets. As a result, the system has a 70 to 80% effectiveness in eliminating enemy rocket and mortar fire. While this is a considerable success rate, in a military context, a higher percentage would be preferable, especially when human lives are at stake. The C-RAM addressed a critical need to neutralize enemy attacks during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2010, with the first C-RAM being used to protect the Green Zone in Iraq. It was also deployed in Afghanistan, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Since 2019 the system has been incorporated into the 1st U.S. Field Artillery Battalion, 
and NATO allies such as Australia, the United Kingdom and Germany have also deployed the C-RAM. However, this is not the only land-based close-in weapon system on the global market. Other systems with differences in design and functionality, but with the same objective include Iron Dome from Israel. This system has evolved into a comprehensive air defense system, intercepting over 400 rockets launched at Israel by militants from the Gaza Strip in November 2012. Then there's Mantis from Germany, an automated 35mm system produced by Rheinmetall, used by the Luftwaffe since 2011. It is known for its impressive appearance in the field of air defense. We also have Porcupine from Italy, developed for the Italian Army. This system includes four firing units, a central control post, a three-dimensional radar system, and a 20mm M61A1 cannon. The LD-2000 from China is a land-based close-in weapon system that integrates a counter-battery radar for its operation. And lastly, Kashtan from Russia, a naval close-in weapon system based on a 30mm rotary cannon designed to counter anti-ship missiles, aircraft, small boats, coastal targets, and floating mines. Despite the C-RAM having saved many lives, its effectiveness is not perfect which has led the U.S. Navy to experiment with directed energy weapons, such as laser weapons. One example is the Helio system, which could silently and almost instantly neutralize targets with a theoretically unlimited number of shots at the speed of light. While field testing on Arleigh Burke-class destroyers has been underway since early 2021, the C-RAM remains one of the best systems for neutralizing airborne threats before they reach their ground targets. What do you find most interesting about the C-RAM defense system? Leave a comment below and let me know. And if you want to learn more about military technology, be sure to check out our next video on advanced defense systems. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, where there's new content every day and many surprises coming soon. Don't miss them. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day.